It's Friday afternoon. I just got my ass out of bed a while ago. That noise you hear in the background, that's Team Fortress 2. And welcome to my vlog. For some frigged up reason, Team Fortress 2 won't run, so it can go frig itself. Not sure what to think of what it looks like outside. There's a little bit of blue, a lot of gray, I don't know, I don't know. I gotta renew my prescription today, so we're gonna have to go to the drugstore. I have awesome hair today, look at that, holy shit. But right now I want to sagger it, my phone keeps going off. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go pick up my prescription, and uh, I want to get those totes in the house. Also, we got flyer day today, because today is flyer day Friday, frig yeah. Don't I look pretty? I'll fuck the and I know it. So I got the totes and garbage bag. Yeah, today's a pretty gloomy day out. I really don't want to have the car charge underneath the hood, charging the battery, and the rain coming down, so. Could just pull the battery and bring it in the garage, but. Frig it. I got other things. I got other things going on in my life. Frig sakes. A James Ready Lager. Way too smooth. Way too smooth. I slammed an 8 pack into me last night and didn't even notice. It's just the way she goes. Alrighty guys, it's like freaking 20 after 1. I gotta go pick up my prescription soon, but first, we're gonna freaking do... Flyer day, flyer day. Gotta look at sales on flyer day. See what kind of deals they have in the paper flyer day flyer day gotta look at sales on flyer day see what kind of deals they have in the paper flyer day flyer day yeah flyer day flyer day yeah all the sales all the sales so much sales love the sales yeah i know that song's pretty cocked but let's get on with the flyers because i'm pretty sure they're going to be good today i'm hoping probably not we'll see Oh, let's start off with Staples. That was easy. Spend 50 bucks, get 10 bucks, Sears cash card. Spend 50 bucks, get 10 bucks, Sears cash card. Spend 50 bucks, get 10 bucks, Sears cash card. I'm done. Oh, glue stick. You know, it's got pretty shitty stats, but for an entry level, it's not too bad. There you go, the ultimate web surfing machine. 300 bucks. Holy crap, they lowered the price 40 bucks, and they still can't sell them. Oh, epic deal is epic. 32 gig son of a bitch for friggin' 15 bucks? I need 12 of these. Oh, uh, I remember when I was a kid how much this used to depress me. All the back to school shit. Because I really hated going to school. But friggin' went anyway, because I kind of sort of had to. I need that. Freaking girlfriend was just at the mall and she met up with my parents. And my dad's looking for a wireless keyboard. Well, frig, you know, that's a pretty good deal. Just saying. I need to get another 3 terabyte hard drive because I want to back up my server to it. And that way there, if the server shits the bed, I don't lose anything. The ASOX version! Well, iPods came down a little bit. And they're down about 12 bucks. Oh, freak sakes, I love that camera. It does a great job, 720p, you know, it, it's just an amazing webcam. I know there's a better one that does 1080, but uh, this one here doesn't have the autofocus on heroin, so that's a bonus. Oh, don't kid yourself, there's still a whole, a whole other Staples frickin' fly here. Like, they got this laptop here, the uh, netbook with the Intel Atom 2, uh, 2600. I was mentioning this here netbook here, how it's an actual, uh, it's actually not a bad little machine. Not a bad little machine indeed. Here's another AMD netbook. Uh, it's got the, uh, well, it's, they call it a notebook, but it has a netbook APU in it. Not a bad machine for a simple surfer and thin and lightweight and portable. It's more like an ultra, well, I wouldn't really call it an ultra book because it doesn't really have a lot of power to it. But for doing simple things like, you know, Facebook and, and all that other crap, it'd be fine. Oh, the new Acer Iconia tab. It's the A100, but um, it's been revised. I believe she has ice cream sandwich on it. Doesn't frickin' say. Son of a bitch. Oh, Frig 6 tubes. It's the Envy A6 brand new APU. It's got the uh, A6 4455 accelerated processor. Worn. Got a lot of other stats in it, too. It looks friggin' nice. I like it. Oh, apparently carbon fiber makes it faster. I was actually looking at this here cordless keyboard while I was there because it has the touchpad on the side and sometimes I like using a touchpad over a mouse. Even on my laptop I do that and I thought this might have been kind of cool. 
Hey, there's my piece of shit webcam. It's got autofocus. That turns on every 15 seconds. Oh, welcome to Future Shop. Exciting stuff. Seriously smart back to school savings. Oh my god, seriously smart. Holy shit, that's a decent looking rig. It's got the A10 brand new, the Trinity Core rig, yeah. 750 gig son of a bitch with uh, 6 gigs of RAM. And it's got a dedicated 7660 freaking son of a bitch. Freaking Samsung has got a nice rig here. It's the uh, AMD 810 Vision, 6 gigs of RAM, 7, 750 gig hard drive, and it's got the 7660G dedicated graphics card. Freaking nice. Well, here's another Samsung uh, laptop here. It looks like a net, uh, an Ultrabook, but it's not an Ultrabook. It's got the A6 Vision, which uh, it is the Trinity Core. You can tell by the gray Vision sticker. For instance, that's the A6 Vision, right? It's gray. This one over here is black. This is the first gen. And that would be the second gen. So this has the, oh, it's an ultra low voltage APU too. So it'd be good on, on, on freaking power and stuff. And it's got a built in graphics card. I believe it comes with the uh, 7500. So right on for that price. It's pretty sweet for a lightweight machine. If I were to get an ultra book, I'd probably get that guy there. Even though it's only an i3 frigate. But honestly, I don't really need an ultra book. But what I like about it is you have your. 20 gig SSD for your OS and then your 500 gig hard drive. Mind you, it probably doesn't work that way. It probably uses the 20 gig for caching, but uh, I bet you she's snappier than shit. Oh, yeah, that comes out on DVD soon, eh? Friggin' uh, tomorrow. Right on. Yeah, that's a pretty sweet camera. 10.1 megapixel, friggin' dual lens. It comes with that. You can put other lenses on it and stuff. And it's like a DSLR, but it doesn't have that great big stupid body. Nice. Oh, let's keep it nerdy and move on to the source, frig sakes. Um, I think it's like $20 cheaper for this laptop elsewhere. Oh, well, they got some speakers on sale here. I wouldn't mind to get a set of the uh, of the ones here with the subwoofer for uh, $39.99 because uh, the speakers on my TV are starting to die. Well, they sound like shit. Oh, a lot of good deals on headphones, maybe. Well, starting at $49 and just freaking get her. Oh, it's Avaga Internet Security. If you ever want to quit surfing, let Avaga take care of that for you. I didn't know Acer branded portable hard drives. Right on. You know, even with a keyboard, it's still a piece of shit. Alright, so enough with the nerdy. Let's go on to Canadian Tire. Oh, for freak's sakes, I need that. 7x7 seven seven resin shed. Oh, that'd be awesome. Put that in the backyard. Put the freaking riding tractor in there and all the other things and stuff. It'd be awesome. Save 25% on some freaking tires. Holy shit, that looks like a hardcore freaking cheese grater, let me tell you. Oh, they got chips. Oh, squirt guns. Solar lights. Oh, I should get me one of those freaking awesome soldering guns. Yeah. Oh, freaking pew pew, people. Pew pew. Yeah, because that's what I need for my car. A freaking heating and massage pad on my seat to make me fall asleep while I'm driving and get me killed. Yeah, I got that mirror. Should have bought that freaking tower fan for downstairs. That's a nice tower you fan. You know, if they had something like this that wasn't multicolored, you know, just like a solid color, I'd probably get it for my office in here to put all my shit into. Oh, I bet you this thing's screaming fast. Oh, two bottles of allergy causing detergent. Frickin' 10 bucks. Beauty. The one shot. One shot. Holy shit, that's a good deal. Alright, that pretty much ends it for Flyer Day, because uh, I'm out. We're done. Frick it. Alright, let's uh, go get some drugs. And by that I mean, gotta reload my prescription, my friggin' puffers. So let's rock and roll. Alrighty, well, I should get a belt on because my pants keep trying to fall down my ass. So, let's go do that. Oh, there we go. Now my pants are trying to make their way around my ass. I was about to be stupid and grab my phone. The reason why I say I was about to be stupid and grab my phone is I'm sitting there doing flyer day and I'm getting texted like crazy. So, freak that noise. Decided not to bring it. Alright, let's go get those freaking drugs. Because I don't like the drugs, but the drugs like mean things. Holy shit, she's windy and nipply out today, let me tell you. Freak sakes. Alrighty, we got the dope. We're good to go. Think I'm gonna head think I'm gonna head over to Sobeys and get a chicken dinner. Cause I'm freaking starved. Let's go. Well, there's 15 minutes of my life I'll never get back. Holy shit, today is like the elderly shopping day. Sobeys is loaded with the elderly people. Holy crap. Well I'm gonna go home and eat my chicken, watch some Stargate and just gabber. You know, for six bucks, you really can't go wrong. Get chicken. 
Love chicken. Some rice. Makes everything nice. Frig yeah. Get in my belly! Chicken was awesome, but uh, I think I'm gonna take the dog out for a shit. Hey, you go for shit? Say shit. You go for shit. Shit, 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 shit. Yeah, you do. Shit, shit. Okay, let's take him out for a shit, shit for he shits shit, all over the place. Shit, shit. Oh, I'm totally taking a shit. Definitely a chilly day out today. Holy shit. This weather's Johnny Dukakis. Well, I think what I'm gonna do after the smoke is go and decockerfy my room, get all the junk into the tubs and all the garbage into the garbage bags, and then uh, I might accidentally have some room in there to do things, like activities and such. I haven't called Bloke yet, but I was talking to Where's Bobby last night, and Bloke's apparently all anxious for me to come down. So I'll probably end up doing a lot of drinking while down there, that's for sure, because, well, that's what we do. We drink beer and smoke cigarettes and talk about the good old times and stuff, you know, just chillaxing, having a good time. Look at this fur ball. Look at that fur ball. Freaking fur ball. For sakes, I hope it doesn't rain tomorrow, otherwise that barbecue's canceled and I'll never hear the end of that one, that's for sure. Yeah, we're doing a barbecue at my parents' house tomorrow, and um, girlfriend's parents are coming over, so right on. So, Phoenix. What? Did you have a good sleep last night? No, I didn't. Why'd you close the door to the room? I wanted in. Yeah, I know I did. Keep you out of there. Why would you do that? It wasn't nice. Well, you didn't sleep that well? Why not? Because Oreo snores really loud and... It was really uncomfortable. Don't you mean you snore so loud? No, Oreo snores really loud. You should hear him. He sounds crazy when he's snoring. Oh, well. Yeah. You got a nap today. And Whatever. I'll give you some food, oh. and uh, you can have a nap after, okay? Ooh, I like food and naps. But you're not coming in the bedroom because you take up too much room, and you're noisy and you're annoying. Oh, you're annoying. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Punk. Let me out. What do you want? I want to come outside. You can't come out. Oh, for sakes, tubes, I kind of sort of fell asleep at 3 o'clock and got woken up at 5 o'clock and the girlfriend got home. So, had a little nap. You do that on vacation and stuff. Well, we're going to, uh, what, Boston? We're going to Boston Pizza. I'm not really that hungry, but she wants some friggin' salad and stuff, so you don't make friends with salad. Don't make friends with salad. <sighs> but she said, oh, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. So, um, gonna go to Boston Pizza and get a bite to, be, to eat. So, let's go. Well, funny story. We went to Boston Pizza. We sat down. We got menus and said, yeah, we don't feel like this. Got up and left. <laughs> I'm actually not really that hungry right now. The chicken's still kind of making me feel a little queasy in my gut. I think it was bad or something. I don't know. So instead, the girlfriend just got a bite to eat from takeout, and I'm going to have a coffee. See if that'll maybe fix things for me. Maybe, 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 maybe. Just saying. It's that noise you hear in the background, that's my TV. I'm watching a bloke video here. He's doing Sky Hill and I'm not sure what vehicle. But you hear how it's just vibrating and it sounds like ass? That's why I kind of want to get speakers for my computer. <laughs> well, I managed to get one bag of garbage out of this room. I uh, got the tote sitting where I cleaned up a big spot here and I cleaned up a lot on the desk, but I got a lot more cleaning to do and a lot of clutter I got to put away and stuff and freaking still in the box, 120 gig Kronos solid state drive. Haven't used it yet. Freaking right. Not sure where I'm going to use it, but I'll find a use for it. And I still got my USB 3.0 card that I got to put to work. So, problem is it's got that connector on it. And my friggin' power supply on my Dell doesn't have that connector. The old Molex. <sighs> but, uh, this one here I think is the... I don't know which one this one is. It has three or two or... See, it's got the picture of the four or the two. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, this one has the three in the front and then one in the back for internal USB, I guess. So, that's pretty sweet. But you have to have a Molex adapter to power it, otherwise it goes passive and it's not as good. wonder what's supposed to be there. They never soldered on. Friggin' L2. Weird. Looks like it's supposed to have a battery terminal there, too. Not hooked on. Or a capacitor. Like that guy. That makes more sense. Oh, well, whatever. Bought this a long time ago, never used it. I know I need to buy a new power supply for the Dell because that 470 is probably just hurting right now. Ever since I stuck the 55 or 550 uh, GTI into her, hasn't been the same. But uh, one day I plan on hooking this beast up to it and then getting three USB uh, 3.0 slots at the back to hook up hard drives and stuff to. It'll be awesome. It'll be friggin' awesome. Oh, I'm still on project cleanup. But uh, I did manage to clip a bunch of floor space. I definitely do need to pass a vacuum in here. That's a given, guys. I know that. But I cleaned up a lot of the desktop. There's still a lot of crap there that i got to deal with. But uh, got a lot of it dealt with already. See that white thing in the corner? 
little cubby hole thing. I want to buy another one of those because they stack, eh? And get a couple more of those guys and then put more shit in it and get it out of the way, like my camera gear and all that. And I think that'd be a pretty good idea. And uh, I've already, like, all this desktop space here, like, that's going to make doing flyer days so much easier and stuff. So right on. What I'm planning on doing once we get the uh, new power system in here is that monitor. I'm going to move it over. And I don't know where the frig I put it, but uh, I have a netbook back there, my Acer. I went ahead and stuffed Ubuntu onto her. Oh, that's Stargate Atlantis, guys. <laughs> but uh, I went, went ahead and stuffed Ubuntu onto it, and uh, I'm probably going to run it off of that old friggin' 4x3 19-inch monitor just to have a Linux box available on hand to do whatever, you know. So, that'd be pretty sweet. Other than that, just been dicking around in here, cleaning it up. So, so far we got a lot done, but we still got a lot more to do. So I'm gonna keep hammering down on this, and Oreo's upset right now, he's outside the bedroom. I didn't want him in here while I'm doing this, because he's gotta be right there. And he's in the way, and I'm moving around some heavy stuff in here, and no, my luck, I'd end up crushing the shit out of him, and he'd be pissed, and I'd feel sad, and you know. So I'm better off that he stays out of the room while I do this, and then once it's all cleaned up and everything's good, you know, you can come in here, you can sleep on the floor again. Because he likes to do that. He comes in here because it's actually pretty cool in here right now. It's about 18 degrees out right now. I got uh, that fan going, which I need to replace now. I went to fire it up earlier and she started squawking at me. So chances are she's filled with dirt and dust and debris and she's pretty dicked over. It's an old fan. I bought that when I moved in here anyway. So uh, I'll get one of, those, uh, one of those window fans maybe. Stuff it in the window and that really bring the temperature in this room down, let me tell you. But uh, yeah, she's coming along good. Uh, this room's freaking awesome now. Love it. So I'm gonna keep hammering down on this and um, Once I get everything said and done grab the vacuum and then I'm gonna vacuum the floor there and clean her all up Make her look good and then uh, right right on and other things So like I said dad wants to come over next Wednesday and install the power in here We're gonna be on our own dedicated breaker and it's gonna be freaking awesome I can't wait so I'll we'll have a bunch more outlets in here to play with and stuff and it's gonna be pretty cool so just have to hammer down and see what we get with. Yeah, sure, go with it. But I do believe it's time for a James Ready. James Ready, lava. I also want to figure out how to hang up all this crap, like my Super Nintendo joystick, my Nintendo joystick, which is probably on the floor, yup. I want to hang them on the wall here so they're easily accessible. Because just throwing them in the corner, or throwing them on the ground, they're going to break. They're cheap. And I don't want to break them because I like using them to play freaking Nintendo and Super Nintendo. So, and that headphone, that headset, that Logitech, is by far the best thing I've ever purchased in my life. That thing is amazing. So, freaking right on. But, check this out. During all my cleaning, I found these. Freaking, uh, see, well, you can see right there. It's an Alienware headset. It's a girlfriend's old headset. She said one of the headphones there was, it was cocking out on it. So, I'm going to try them out. And if she gives me permission, I'm going to take them apart and see if I can repair them. Because that's a freaking nice set of headphones, let me tell you. I don't know if they're noise cancelers, probably not, but they're nice regardless. Holy shit, like look at the friggin' padding on those headphones. Here, let's get some light on these. Hey, look at that. It goes like right around your ear. Your ear's like covered in cushion. I put them on a while ago and they were, it was like wearing friggin' like, like firearm headphones, you know? So you can't hear any gunshots and stuff. These are sexy. Frig yeah. Just brought a full Tupperware container out. Room is looking awesome. Like I said, once the power distribution network's put in, I'll be able to run a whole bunch more shit in that room. It'll be sweet. And then I kind of decided, you know, I was going to take a break and start playing some Grand Theft Auto. And I didn't feel like playing more 4, so I went scouting around and I forgot about episodes. I, I got that too when I bought the pack. And it came with uh, uh, the Ballad of Gay Tony and uh, the Lost and the Damned. So I was like, well, let's check out this Lost and the Damned. It's actually pretty cool. I like it. You're a motorbiker. Like, you're in a bike gang and you're just... Freaking giving her. I like that. So right on. So that's what I've been doing all night. Also, the girlfriend gave me the go-ahead on taking a look at the headset. So I'm going to try it out and see if I can fix it. If I can, then sweet. And if I can't, then frig it. Shouldn't be too hard. Usually it's just a cold solder. But whatevs. It's pretty bad. I play that game and I really want a bike now. A motorbike, that is. Not to be in like a bike gang or anything. Just because, you know, friggin' motorbikes. Don't they get like awesome fuel economy and stuff? Also, think of how cool that'd be to take a motorbike to like go see bloke and stuff. You know, just cruise down. Hang out there and friggin' motorbike it. Frig, now that I have room, I should set that piece of shit up, eh? Bring that in the house and set it up on the desk for funsies. See if it works. <laughs> should work. Garrett said it worked. So, I don't know. I might try that. I might do that there sometime next week or something. I don't know. Once uh, we get the power distribution network set up, bring that guy in the house and give her a run. See if she goes. Frig it. Don't know if it's proprietary keyboard and mouse. Probably is. Deckard. But 
I'm sure I could talk to Garrett and he might have a keyboard that'll fit it in a mouse, so right on. You guys find that lately my vlogs have been all over the place? I kinda like making these, they're funner, if that's even a word. Well, I just came outside to get rid of that tote that's behind me. I gotta get the, the riding tractor out of the way so I can get the ladder set up, which is frickin' right there. And then uh, I can climb up and put it up there, but uh, as you all know, I'm petrified of heights, so that's gonna be a shaky job. I should set up the camera so you guys can laugh at me while I do that, because you will. Also, something else I wanna state is um, the vlogs. I've scheduled them, guys. So every day at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, that's when the vlogs go live. I have to look at your uh, time schedules to see what Eastern Standard Time is compared to you, how many you know hours out that is and stuff, but then you'll know when the video goes live, and it's every morning at 9 a.m. So that's what I've been doing, so that's freaking right on. Anywho, so I gotta head her back inside. I got some more shit to do, and uh, I wanna play that Lost in the Dam some more because that is freaking awesome. So um, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Peace to freak out. So I just cracked open a bag of Doritos, right? Because I've been craving them for so long. Check this out. Look at how full that bag is. Like, seriously. That's pretty damn good. You don't get that all the time. That's like almost a bag and a half of normal Doritos. It's pretty friggin' awesome. Well guys, I've been friggin' around with these headphones for a bit now, and I think I figured them out. I got a YouTube video here of, uh, this guy makes guitar solos, or guitar replicas of songs, so I'm gonna play it. Right now it's playing out this channel, but as you move, Oh yeah, now you're gonna put me wrong, hey, son of a bitch. It's the wiring and the hinge that is failing. This is gonna be quite the repair job, that is for sure. We'll figure it out. So judging by this apparatus, which is actually, there's a thingamajig, and this here, you connect your wires to it, and there's probably metal conductor going all the way through the overhead band, coming over here, connecting over here. I'm thinking it's broken in here somewhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together, then try and figure out how to take that top part off, and go from there. Well, looks like we found the problem. This wire here was uh, barely making contact with the connector. So all we need to do is pop this plate off, which looks like that plate, and that plate, which I've already done on this side. That's what it should look like when it's all soldered together, but obviously when it's broken, you know, it's diggered. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that, and I'll have myself an awesome set of headphones. Right on. Oh, frig yeah, tubes, like a boss. And they work perfectly. These things are awesome. kind of regret buying the Logitechs now. I could have just found these and fixed these instead, because they're working great. They're mint. So right on, I got a second set of headphones now, unless the girlfriend takes them back, but she has her World of Warcraft USB headphones, which sound friggin' ten times better, apparently, with noise-canceling technology and all that jazz, so, eh, friggin'. I might have a second set of headphones, whatever. I can use them in the other room on my computer instead, or whatever, because uh, the headphones I have in there are pretty dicked, so, friggin'. But it's getting pretty late. I should shut her down here, and, uh call her quits for tonight and then carry on tomorrow because I got a shit ton of editing to do. So on that note guys, if you like today's video, hit the like button. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. And until next time, keep on vlogging. Oh shit. Oh, you know what time it is. It's like 120 and stuff. And um, I want to look at some shit. So. Frig sakes. Oh, frig, I love that camera. It's got the Carl's Ice lens and it's friggin'. Oh, it just does a great job. Better than my Panasonic. Oh, check it out, guys. It's the. Uh, that's a friggin' nice. Oh, Samsung also makes this guy here, eh? It uh, looks like an Ultrabook, but it's not, I don't think. Son of a bitch. So, uh, Samsung makes uh, this nice uh, fuck. That's a pretty sweet camera. Forget Son of a bitch. Alright, enough with the nerdy. Let's move on to Canadian motherfucker. I can't use that. Yeah, you know, like...
What the hell was I gonna say? Shit. Yeah, we're gonna go to freaking Ow, my arse. Uh, Boston Pizza and uh, freak sakes. I'm gonna grab the vacuum, give her a quick little freaking passy sucky, whatever you wanna call it. Yeah, I think motorboating would be aw. Motorboating? Motorbiking, Adam. Motorbiking, for freak sakes.